So here we'll differentiate 4 to the c over x power. Be really careful with this one. First of all, we have to know how to differentiate a number to a function power. So here we go. I will write it down right here for you guys. When we have to differentiate, let's say we have some base b, just a number, right, a legitimate number, raised to the x power. Well, this right here gives us b to the x power times natural log of the base, which is natural log of b, like this. And sometimes if you have more complicated things for the power, like especially you have c over x. Remember the following. Sometimes I can write this down. d, d of a box, meaning to differentiate the following. If you have a box like this, what do we do? This right here tells you you do b to the box, but you still multiply by ln b, right? Don't we? Yes, right? So with this in mind here, let's see how we get the derivative of this guy g prime for the derivative of the function. Our base is 4 in this situation, and you see that the box is c over x. Let's just maintain that. So for this, we first get c, I mean 4 raised to the c over x power times ln 4. Again, I'm using this formula, right? c over x right here, c over x right here. That's exactly what I'm doing right here, right? But we are not done yet because we have to use the chain rule. Because right here, as we can see, here we have c over x. We have to differentiate that. So now, perhaps I'll do it on the side just to make it super clear for you guys. Differentiating some constant over x. Well, this is just a constant. That's 5 or 17. You can bring that to the front. So this is the constant times the derivative of 1 over x. And this is the one I told you guys you should remember it because you will be dealing with 1 over x a lot. If you would like, you can still write it as x to the 1 half power. But all in all, I will tell you, this right here, c stays right here, but the derivative of 1 over x is negative 1 over x squared. Again, you could have write it as x to the negative 1, and then you do the power rule. But this right here is better. Anyway, c times negative 1 is negative c over x squared. And this is the derivative of c over x. And that's exactly what we will have to multiply right here, negative c over x squared, like that. Lastly, perhaps we'll just write things down in a better form, because let's see, we have the negative c, and then we have the 4, and then c over x power, and all over x squared. And don't forget the ln4, it's actually on the top. So I most wanted to put it on the bottom, which is not correct. This right here, that's it.